Math Lesson 132. Welcome back, everyone. We're glad to see you again. Can you all say hello? Hello. Hello. Let's begin, as usual, with our meditation. Our meditation. Very good, which means we all sit down together, and you guys show me two fingers, two fingers that we'll use to find our Good, we first want to focus our energy, find our heartbeat, boom, boom, here at our center and keep it there. Our other hand's going to be open in our laps or on our desk and together we take a deep breath in and out. Gently close our eyes, relax our body, allow our energy to focus at our center. Find our mind space here and begin our practice. Once we're able to feel it here at our heart center, relax our other hand. We want to hang on to that feeling, keep our focus at our heart center throughout our meditation. We're keeping focused at our heart center, observing the sensations of energy, focus there. We can begin to direct that energy towards the palms of our hands as well as we move further into our meditation.
we are focused at our heart center, <coughs> allowing ourselves to be present and fully aware of the senses at our chest center and the palms of our hands. We're feeling calm and relaxed. Nice work, everyone. We'll slowly open our eyes and come out of meditation together. Take three deep breaths. Ready? One, two, and three. Very nice. Okay, up on your feet. We'll do our warm up together. First, show me a nice big stretch up towards the sky. Nice big tall stretch. Oh, very good. Get our blood moving. Wake us up a little bit, huh? We can bend side to side here. Feel the stretch in your arms and your back. Oh, big stretch. And then together we shake it out. Shake, shake, shake it out. Okay. And then stretch down to your toes. Nice big stretch in your legs. Stretch. And then together we shake it out, shake, shake, shake it out. Okay, ready? Listening? Step backwards. Okay. Step left. Step right. Step forward. Crisscross. Uh, step backwards. Crisscross. Step left. Step right. Turn around. Step forward. Crisscross. Uh, step left. Step backwards. Jump two times. One, two. Turn around. Crisscross. Very good, guys. Very good. All right. I'll do it. You do it. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. One, two, three, four. Pretty good. All right, one more. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Good. Very good. I am smart. I am small. I am strong. I am strong. I am kind. Today, Today is a good day. It's a good day. 
today, today is a good day. It's a good day. Good. Have a seat, please. Hands on head. Hands on nose. Hands on eyes. Hands on shoulders. Hands on mouth. Hands on head. Hands on stomach. <gasps> Good. Hands on head. Hands on desk. Perfect. Okay, today in math, woo, we are switching it up, actually. So we are going to move from subtraction to addition because moving forward, we're going to use them both together addition and subtraction. What? Yeah, I'm going to need this. That's why I left it here. So first, as our warm-up, we are going to count to 100 together. Ready? Okay, I'm going to do it with you guys, right? We're going to clap it for each number, and I want to hear you guys. All right, let's see how fast we can do it. Ready? Okay, so last lesson in math, remember we learned how to add three numbers with first subtraction. Right, let's go over that together. We were talking about subtraction, and we decided that if we had a number like 11 minus 5 minus 3, we learned that what we can do is put the first two together. Right. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Solve the first two together first, right? So let's do 11, take away five. Right, we'll start with 11. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 equals six, very good. And now it's easy, we have six take away three, which equals what? Right, no. Start with six here, take away three. Six, five, four, three, right? Six, take away three. Three, same thing. Three. So 11 minus five minus three equals three, right? We learned that we can group the first two together. Put the first two together and solve, <clears throat> and then solve again. We'll do another one together. Okay, let's do another one together. <clears throat> let's say we have 10, take away two, take away three. Cool, first, first, let's look at 10, take away two. Well, it's 10 minus two. equals eight, very good. 10 minus two equals eight. And now we have eight minus three, which equals five, very good. So 10 minus two minus three equals five. Very good, right? We break it into steps. Step one, step two, right? Step one, step two. Makes it easy, break it into step. Step one, step two. Right? As you can imagine, what if we are doing addition? What if we are doing plus instead of minus? Yay. Yeah, do you think it's going to be different or the same? For example, what if we had 5 plus 2 plus 3? Good, how'd you know that? All right, guys, it's going to work exactly the same way. Let's just group the first two. What's five plus two? Five, ten, four, seven. Mm -hmm. We're doing plus now, we're adding. Five plus two equals seven. Makes that easy. Seven. And seven plus three? Equals equals 10, very good, equals 10. It's exactly the same process, same step one, step two as with subtraction, right? We're gonna do one more together. Okay, let's look at one more. 
What's important is we pay attention to the sign, right? Whether we see a plus or a minus, right? A plus or a minus, that's gonna be the biggest detail, the biggest important detail for us today. Other than that, the process is the same. Step one, step two. So what if we had eight, eight, eight plus six plus two. two. First, let's solve a plus six. Can we talk about a plus six? Eight. Count forward on your fingers. Plus six, right? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, 14, 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. Plus two equals 16, very good. 14, 15, 16. 16. You're close though, Papu. 14 plus 2 equals 16. Good. 16. 8 plus 6 plus 2 equals 16. Right? Step 1, together. Step 2, together. Right? Step 1, together. Step 2, together. All right? Two steps. Step 1, step 2. In addition to using our fingers, Right? We can also use a number line, right? It's, for a lot of us, for me, Teacher Shelby, I like the number line because I can do it quicker. One, two, three, get to my answer, all right? So let's take a look at using our number line instead of our fingers. All right, let me put up a number line for you guys to look at. And. Okay, our 1 to 20 number line. All right, so we can also use this. If we're doing addition plus on our number line, are we going to move forward or backwards? Forward. Forward, because we're adding, right? We're doing plus. We're getting bigger numbers. We move forward on a number line. Whereas last lesson, when we were doing minus, subtraction, we were moving backwards on our number line. All right, that's going to be the major difference. The only difference between these two lessons, really, is one's subtraction, one's addition. All right, so let's take a look using our number line. What if we had 9 plus 5 plus 4? Right. Plus, so we're going forward. Good. All right, where do we start, Papu? Where do we start on our number line? Where do we go first? Nine. Nine, right? And I go forward or backwards? Forward. Forward, because it's plus. How many forward? Five. Five. One, five. two, three, three four, four, five. Good. All right, check. What did I land on? Fourteen. Nine plus five equals fourteen. Fourteen plus four? Equal eight. Very good. Let's figure it out. One, two, three, four. Four, 18. Nine plus five plus four equals 18. Not so bad, huh? Becomes fairly easy when we use our number line. Yeah, okay, one more together and then we're gonna play a game to practice. Yeah! Yeah! Awesome, all right, so let's take a look at six plus eight, plus five. All right. So together first, let's figure out what six plus eight is. So where do I start on my number line? Six. Six. And I go forward or backwards? Forward. Forward. How many times? Eight. Eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Fourteen. 14 plus 5. All right, let's figure it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Very good. Equals 19. Does that make sense? Yeah? Okay. 
Good. We're going to have our number lines and our fingers to help us work our addition problems today. For our next activity, you guys are going to get to play a game. Yay! A game using our classroom dice. We haven't used those in a while, right? You're going to play in partners or small groups. My class is going to play in pairs. Yay. Right? You're going to take a turn. You have three dice, right? So you shake and roll. All right? And it's going to give you one, two, three numbers. You're going to add them together using our number line or our fingers, just like we practice. For example, for example, if it's Teacher Shelby's turn, shake and roll. What numbers did I get? Can you see? Six, four, five. Good. Six, three, and five. Six, three, and five. Six, three. <clears throat> <laughs> that would be a big number. But no, I've got six, three, and five. So what I'm going to do on my own paper, so what I'm going to do on my own paper is add six plus three plus five. Right? Let's figure it out. Six plus three first nine. equals nine. Equals Very good. And nine plus five equals 14. Good. Check. Give it to my partner. My partner. Shake and roll. <laughs> All right? Okay. So you guys are going to practice in your room, and then you'll join us back here when you're finished. Mm. All right. Nadia Pat. La cao pong pong. Pat the pak pong. Okay, let me give you, this is scratch paper for you to write your equations on. You're welcome. You're very welcome. One for me. And who wants a number line? Who wants one? Anybody? I have a feeling you're all going to want one. Okay, so let's have the girls go first, because we are gentlemen. Girls go first. Yeah, I'm the girl. Give it over. Girls first. Yeah. Cutty, shake. Girls, shake and roll. Ooh, look at that. Three fives. May I borrow your pencil? Good, so show me five plus one plus five. Look to you. So I have one, two, I have five. So I write five plus five plus five. Hmm, okay, so I start at five plus one, two, three, four, five. Check. Plus one, two, three, four, five. Fifteen. Your turn. I'll be back. I'm going to check everybody's work. Good. We'll write your equation first. Five plus one plus five. This is your Write it. See, look, guys. Write your equation first. Solve it. Yeah. Right? You want to write your equation first. Ooh, my goodness. Okay, now show me six plus six plus six. Good. All right, now let's figure it out. We start at five, right? Plus one. Brink. Equal five. Oh, equal three. Good. And then plus, there you go. Equal six plus five. Six plus. Oh, it should be. Now count it out. One. Two, three, four, five. Perfect. Equals what? Eleven. Perfect. Good. All right. Six is, number six is this one. Uh, it's hard upside down. Six is six. Six plus six. All right. So first do this one. Show me six. Show me six in here. Teacher, 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 
Good. Now forward six times. Forward six times. Start from six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. All right, now one more. Right, that was forward six. Check. Now forward six more times. Cool. Perfect. Good. Hi. Six plus six plus six. Woo. All right, write your equation. Don't forget. Six plus six plus six. Perfect. Very good. 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 One plus six plus one. Write it. Very good. Did you skip my turn? Did you skip me? <laughs> okay. Ready? Ooh, nice. <clears throat> I should get my own pencil, huh? Thanks, sorry, I don't have my own. Five plus four plus two. Nine plus two. Eleven. Very good, Pat, very good. Ooh, very good. <gasps> 26. Let's try that one more time. It doesn't equal 26. Try it again. All right. Let's start with six, right? Mm. Stop guessing. Count with me. Six plus six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. So there's twelve. Plus six. One more time. One. One. And minus. Plus. We're doing plus. Plus today. We're doing addition today. Plus. Yeah, this is all plus, guys. Today is plus. Oh, thanks, you sweetheart. Plus, plus. One. Cute, you look like a ninja turtle. One plus five. One plus six plus one. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Good. Very good, Pakbong. Very good. Six plus three plus five. Good. Nice work, guys. Yeah, what's one plus six? Patience. What's one plus six? Plus seven plus one. Yeah. Good. Okay, teach Shelby's turn. Okay, one more time and then we're going to move on, all right? Four plus four plus six plus three. Ten plus three. I know, but it's because I'm old. What are the odds? Yeah, finish what you're working on, then we're then we're moving on. <laughs> Adding three digits. 
adding three one digit numbers. <laughs> Six plus four plus two. Six plus four plus two. Is it my turn? Okay. All right, finish what you're working on. No, finish. We got one more thing to do. Wait, shh, stop. Finish what you're working on. You stop. Good. Finish yours and then you're finished. Thank you. Nice job. Nice job. Finished. Okay, good job, everyone. Hang on to your number lines because the last thing you're going to do together, just like last lesson, is an independent practice worksheet. All right? So it's the same thing. Three digit addition with one digit numbers. All right? Use your number line, use your fingers. All right? Group the first two together first. Step one, step two. All right? We're going to complete this independently and then join us back here to say goodbye. I do see you doing that. So it's the same thing, guys, the same thing we've been doing. But it's addition instead of subtraction. Alrighty then. Thank you. First two together first. First two together first. I know you don't feel good, two. but try and, try and get through it, buddy. Two. We're last class of the day. Moving forward on our number lines because it is addition. Easy, good. I'm glad to hear so that. This is yours. Thank you for letting me use it. plus eight, right? You started at eight, and then you did plus eight. You did eight two times, right? Remember, you start at eight, there's eight, check. Now you just do plus two, plus three. Eight, no. Well, you start at eight. There's the eight. Now plus two, one, two. One, two. Plus three. There you go. So you, you started at 8, and then you did plus 8 one more time. You see what I'm saying? We're going to need to do that. Try again. Let me, let me see it. Do the next one. 
Mm -hmm. One, two, three. You're perfect. Okay, now do this one. Let me see. One, two, three. Well, how many? Look, it's six plus two. Okay, pause. Now, plus five. Perfect. There you go. Okay, you know what might be easier? Move this closer down like this, right? So it's easier to see. Like, try this one again. Seven, right? Seven, seven. Plus two. One, two. Run it. Plus six. One, two, three, four, five, six, almost. Yes, girlfriend. Well, it looks good. I'm not going to check them all right now, but it looks really good. You finished? Nice. Very good. You don't need to compare answers. I'll check them. No. Leko knows how to do it. She doesn't need your paper. My name. Awesome, thank you. Okay, uh, no, we're finished. When you're finished, you're finished. Welcome back, everyone. That is going to wrap up today's lesson on addition. Can everybody say goodbye? Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.